It's no secret that the Surface Pro is a great product that is both a computer and a tablet. But how exactly can you use that to your advantage as a student? In today's video, I will show you guys how I take my notes on a Surface Pro, which is efficient for me and I find success with it. First things first, the application that I use. I personally use OneNote. I find it the best because the stylus works seamlessly with it. It's linked to your Microsoft account, which means you can access your notes from absolutely any device that's logged in. And it's extremely user-friendly. The first time you'll open it, you'll know exactly how to work with it. Now, how do I take notes? Well, I love using the stylus. I think it's great to keep the writing aspect whenever you're taking notes instead of just typing because I do believe that typing is kind of more mindless and you don't really have to think about what you're writing down but whenever you're actually writing things down I think you're actually really thinking about what you're jotting down. This is especially more relevant to people who have to take a lot of math courses because math is not meant to be typed out, let me tell you. With that being said, my notes are usually written out, which means I use my stylus a lot. Now I'm gonna take a pause here on the video and I'm actually gonna talk about the stylus a little bit. So if you don't care about the stylus, jump to this time for my next tip. Right, now that those losers are gone, stylus talk, all right? There are more stylus tips that you can purchase from Amazon and I will link this little pack below so you guys know where to purchase it. But what's great about those stylus tips is that each one feels a little bit different and it might actually satisfy the way that you use your stylus more using a different one. The one that's built in into the original stylus, it just has like this little rubber tip with a plastic surround and after that one broke for me after just using it for too long, I had to purchase new stylus tips urgently and I bought the whole pack and I have fallen in love with a different tip which is actually full plastic. Now that one is really great if you're an artist or if you like writing uh, consecutively it, it's really easy to to slide across the screen and let me tell you it does not scratch your screen just so you know it hasn't for me uh, as long as you're not literally stabbing your tablet I doubt that you will actually scratch your screen but as you can see the tip is actually like sharp and it's full plastic so it actually feels very good across the screen there is no friction and like I said especially if you're an artist it's really nice because sometimes having that little bit of friction is just a little bit inconvenient but like I said there are four different choices that you can pick from so there's gonna be one that feels like the original and there's gonna be a several other ones so it's up to you to find out which one you will like the most but if you're interested in those styluses go down below to check them out but now we're going back into the tips there are gonna be some classes that are actually very heavy on presentation slides or or just documents that that they just throw at you and they're like read here and let me explain expand on this and that's actually exactly how one of my political science classes were so meanwhile all these losers out there printing out those notes have to work with one inch margins writing down on the side of the paper using the OneNote app you can actually import those files and write across the screen infinitely as far down as you would like without worrying about any sort of space and just making it look the way you want it to look and of course you don't you don't just have to scribble you can also type on the sides of it and and do whatever you want. I'll be honest, sometimes I, I typed because being in that political science class, there's like 300 students and everyone's crammed into these little desks. So sometimes it was a little bit easier to just set up the computer and type it out. But like I said, I do like the writing aspect a little bit more because it is a little bit more pe personal. You're using your brain a little bit more. Again, totally up to you, whatever you want to do. But that is an option, importing files, especially if you take a lot of math classes that also include a lot of graphs and you just don't know how to draw it's really great to import those those files in and just write down what each thing means or whatever <laughs> so that's it for that now there are gonna be other classes like my personal computer science class where the notes are more like certain terms and then you look at code and that's not particularly the best for writing down with pen so typing it out was my best way to get around that regarding that class but you can always go around it you know type it out the way you need to and then write down oh this is what this means but it's really great because at least you have the opportunity to type out and to write in the same document and it's just really really easy to use to go between typing and, and 
writing, maybe you want to draw a little photo. Now, if you're watching this video before you've even bought a Surface and you're wondering, is it really better to use that or is it better to use a pen and paper? Well, let me sell you the Surface Pro right here or any other tablet that you desire to purchase. If your professor is the type to bounce around and say notes and talk about one topic and then go to a separate topic and then go back to this topic and they're lectures are just all over the place and therefore your notes are all, all over the place using one note or using any sort of application that is not pen and paper you can select the notes and you can move it around so you can make it all be in one concise place rather than also being all jumbled up because when you're gonna go back to study you're not really gonna understand what each thing is if you're constantly bouncing back between topics if, if all the notes for one thing is in one place it'll be easier to understand Two you don't have to carry around a pencil bag. Now that's not particularly an issue for many people, but if you're the type of person that loves to use a bunch of colors and highlighters and all these crazy things, then this tablet is great because you, without having to put down your stylus, you can pick a separate color. You can choose the size of how big the you'll be writing down. You can choose a highlighter. You can choose many different things. You even have an option to, to draw shapes so that it doesn't look like a sloppy circle, it looks like an actual perfect circle. And then of course, if you end up finishing your notes and you're like, holy crap, that orange is nasty, you can select your notes and actually change the color as you go. Three, like I've already mentioned, this application, OneNote, is fabulous. It works through the cloud, so if you're ever in a location where you don't have your tablet, where you take notes, you can pull it up on your phone. So if your computer ever breaks or you leave it, whatever the case may be, bam, not to worry, your notes are still there. However, if you've taken notes on, on a piece of paper and it rained and you dropped your backpack, whatever the case may be, boom, notes either dripping wet, hard to read, whatever, or they may just be gone forever. Now, keep in mind that there are some professors that don't like tablets for note taking because of whatever. Okay. Why? But obviously you're gonna have to follow their rules. Don't don't take notes on a tablet if your professor doesn't like it I've had to deal with it. You can do it too. It's kind of annoying But you know what you, you have to follow their guidelines Otherwise, you're not gonna succeed <laughs> because they're gonna target you and they're not gonna give you a good grade But I mean in the end it's up to you to make your own decision if you guys don't have a surface pro and you do want it I'd appreciate it if you guys used my link to purchase it because I am an Amazon affiliate, but that's all, that's that. As well as the styluses that I talked about, unless you skip that part, which by the way, you missed out. But yeah, I personally love taking notes on the Surface Pro. I think it is efficient. I get pretty good grades. For the classes where I didn't take notes on my Surface, I did bad, just saying. Okay, I'm totally kidding. But the Surface totally helped me be more organized with my notes. I was able to keep everything in a much cleaner and organized area, and I know where to access my notes at all times and I can't lose my notes they're everywhere they're on they're out they're out flying in the cloud around me so I'm never gonna lose those notes anyway that is all I have for you guys today thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like comment something anything and subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos I'm gonna get all up close and personal to say goodbye here but again I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out I won't do that again Downtown we let it go, sunset high and I'm pretty low Blood rush in the haze and glow, my hands look gone Do stuff, we break the scene, one step deep as you fall to me